Well, what are some of the titles that Vertigo is... Uh, Most famous for Sandman by Neil Gaiman, um, and then Preacher by Garth Ennis, kind of the two major 1990s adult comic books. Now, is Preacher... I'm thinking Priest is coming to... Coming to movie theaters. Priest was came on um, as I think Image Comics did that in right. the '90s, based okay. solely on the fact that Preacher sold really well. And but. they've been trying to make Sandman into a movie for decades, but it's just yeah. never going to happen. <clears throat> it, I bet you it will happen. Makes Who knows? Sad. Um, yeah. So okay. So it's more of a art house uh, comic book. Uh, it's where the good edgy adult comics go. Now it's and, an offshoot of DC Comics, right? Yeah, DC's um, line of comics where they can you know swear and do whatever they want. <laughs> ah. So it's it's HBO. Ah, very nice, very nice. Um, well, okay. Now this is the big deal. The the one the, this movie just just got released. Uh, well, it was just put out to the public at South by Southwest. Kick ass. So that is a Mark Miller uh, comic book. The the greatest comic of the last few years. It's amazing. It's is it really like that? That's that's how highly you can mark. It's this? amazing. It's it's one of it, it, it's the highest recommendation you can give to a piece of pop art. What's the appeal? Um, he's he's taking superheroes. And not looking at them ironically, he's looking at them deadly seriously, but realistically. Like if uh, it starts with a kid in high school who, um, you know, he's he's a loser, uh, okay. And he's he's me in high school. You know, you, you're just this a kid who likes comic books and whatnot, but not really getting you anywhere. And his father thinks you know reading comic books isn't really the greatest thing for you to be doing. Play sports, blah blah blah. And he has the epiphany that everyone wants to be a Paris Hilton or some such. You know bland celebrity but nobody wants to be spider-man why isn't there anyone why is nobody in our world become a superhero so he decides well i'm going to do it i'm just going to put on a costume and <laughs> attempt to find some crime <laughs> to stop right on and it doesn't work he puts on a suit and goes out and gets his ass kicked mm -hmm. and uh, he gets called kick ass um, but he does somehow stumble across a guy getting beat up and he goes in there and attempts to stop the fight and in turn gets beat to hell but he fights this these guys off it's a a bloody little scene where he's attempting to help, but somebody on the street films it and puts it on YouTube, and it goes viral. And he's wearing a costume and everything, he's so that's why his, it's very He's wearing his long underwear, at. and he looks like a, you know, a guy pretending he's a superhero, <laughs> but he actually saves this guy's life. And with the aid of YouTube, you know, if that really happened, you know, a couple hundred million people would watch it right I think away. I'd watch that. Oh, and yeah, so sure. he's, he's suddenly a superhero. He's a celebrity. He's the new Paris Hilton. And, um, <laughs> but what happens from there? Once you're known as a superhero in this society, um, you're, you're going to be kicked a bit. <laughs> People aren't going to take, take that lightly. So well, what, I, you know, I'm <clears> actually <throat> surprised that they actually haven't done that as a viral marketing campaign for the movie. I think a lot of people, um, in each, the back of every comic, there was lists of people, comic stores that supported it by putting up their own posters and um, did YouTube clips. So there was, it, it certainly did affect the world right. like it did in the comic. Okay. Hey, well, we're going to take a break, actually. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about Kick-Ass. Uh, yeah, we'll hope you stay with us. <laughs> Working on? Yeah, it's yeah, working. It's based on the 1950s DC comic. Yeah, so it was, it was. Some people have this fascination with going back and grabbing onto these old things and, and rejuvenating. Yeah, it's, it's working pretty, pretty good too. There's a, kind of a, an aesthetic of 1950s Americana that. Jarwin Cook did this thing called the New Frontier, where he, he took. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Point in, in I've seen the the, the the DVD of of that. Yeah, it's really cool. Which was interesting. Um, although, like, I mean, for the for the for the movie that I saw, I was like, they have everybody in there, but I mean, if, so if you're gonna have Adam Strange come in, you can only you can only talk for maybe ten seconds, and yeah. then he's just in the background. So not you want to show everybody's there, but not everybody. Can yeah, they, they, these movies can't possibly put. 70 years of continuity into one of their two hour films. No. Have you heard much about the Kick-Ass movie? I've seen the five trailers or so they put out, and... Um, have you done any reading on people who have seen it? Well, they... Yeah, everything I've read is amazing. Yeah. And they put out a book, like The Making Of, and that looked really cool, but the people who've seen it at the, the festival and Mark Miller, who's seen like, the rock cut, they're really thrilled about it. Well, they're already talking about the second one. <coughs> they screened it at... Um, Harry Knowles and Peter Cole did a, did a film festival, yeah. 24 hour film festival every year, and they actually had a screening of it there. And what they think? And they, everyone there said it was the best movie they saw in 24 hours and probably the best movie of the year. Well, Empire, Empire gave it five shit. stars. I mean, that's great. 
Yeah. You think the hit girl fight scene? The hit girl looks so good. Rivals the um, dangerous kid of Kill Bill like when she fights oh. the. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I haven't even seen Kick-Ass yet, and already Corey Moretz is like my favorite new actress, and I haven't even seen her in this role, but that's why. She's in 500 Days of Summer. Yeah, I know. She's got a really small role in that. She's, she's got a small role in the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. And and apparently she's going to, like, girls are going to be her friends. My daughter's going to be Hit Girl. She's only one and a half. <laughs> then... I, I, gosh, I probably think I could sell that to my wife, too, to go and get our daughter. <laughs> you can go with Big Daddy. <laughs>